Hi guys, my name is Lola. Welcome to my channel. Wake up, you the faggots. My mama made it. Hey, what are you doing? What? This is supposed to be my <laughs> channel. <laughs> Girl, give me my bag. No! I was having it forever. <sighs> Lola, this is Mommy's channel. You gonna make the video for me? Yes. Oh, well, thank you. I guess get back up here then. <laughs> All right, guys. So this is my latest bag. And isn't it so cute? It's a convertible, so it can be worn as a crossbody. <laughs> Let's see. Let's put your arm through it. Thanks. You're welcome. See? Turn to the side so they can check it out. How cute is that? Turn back to the front. And it can also be converted to a backpack. Let's see. Put your arm through. Yeah. There we go. Now the video has to be. All right, and now we have a cute little backpack. You can turn to the side. There we go. All right, thank you so much for helping me, Lola. Yep. All right, I think I can take it from here. Bye. Bye. <laughs> All right, guys, it's Rayvon from Love Lola, and today we're going to be making the cutest little convertible crossbody, backpacky thingy. It's adorable. So this is the Amache by Inelita Patterns. Guys, isn't this so adorable? Let me get on my little step stool. It's so cute. And like I said, it converts into a backpack. So when it is in um, crossbody, form. I don't know the word to say. When you have it as a crossbody, it's going to be attached on the side. Okay. And then when you want to switch it to a backpack, you're going to clip it on the bottom D-ring and then just run it through this top part. and back down to the other D-ring. So cute. I need this. Oh. So cute, I love this little backpack. So on the back, there is a zipper compartment. Pretty awesome. On the front, we have a little turn lock, or you can do a snap closure. And that opens up. We have a little coin purse right here, our little coin pocket. And then we have these two zippers on the side that allows it to open up kind of like an accordion. Accordion. Okay, and then in there we have card slots. One, two, three, four, six. I mean, it's got everything you need, right? <laughs> I love this. And then inside, we have got a slip pocket for you. All right. And it's got, it's a nice size. This is just adorable. I love it so much. I love this. That's so cool that it opens up like that. So you've got room to put everything in here. This is great. So this is it. I am in love with this pattern. 
Andrea did a great job. Congratulations, man. This is this is nice. Good for you. All right, guys, are you ready to get started? Don't forget, a link to the pattern is going to be down below. The information is down below, guys. Like, it's there. I take a lot of time to get all those links for you. So please just go down to the description box and check it out before you send me a note asking for the link or what did I get this? What did I get my hardware? Because I'm going to respond because I can't help it. I, I am like, my nerves are... I can't relax without responding to everything. So I'm gonna do it, but it's just gonna take me more time and I'm gonna be pissed. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But no, yeah, I put all the information down below, links to everything, guys. So just check it out. All right, are you guys ready to get started? Because I am. And guys, this bag is a marathon. It's not a sprint, okay? But it's totally worth it. So just don't think that you're about to just make this in an hour and, and go about your life. It's not gonna happen. Take your time, put on some good music, fix yourself a cocktail, have a glass of wine. I had an alcohol beverage and it was great. So uh, yeah, it's gonna take a little bit of time, but it's so worth it because look at this. Like this bag looks like it's, it would be in a store, right? I love bags that look like I bought this from a store. I don't, I don't like homemade bags. It, they're cool. They're just not what I wanna make. And this pattern is, this pattern is definitely giving, I bought this from a boutique. So I'm excited about it. All right, let's get started. I know, I know, no one reads the whole pattern before they get started, but I do recommend that you at least read the section that you're working on before you start. So if you're about to work on the back panel, read all of the instructions on the back panel before you start. If you're about to work on the flap, then read the flap. You know, I just, I don't want you to make the mistakes that I made. So read your section first. All right, guys, let's work on our card slots. Now, I went ahead and used the measurements that she gave us to get the marks on it. And I did do this on the wrong side of your lining, okay? So you can use your pattern if you would like. I just grabbed the ruler and did the measurements. They're really easy. So the first one that we're going to do... The first, the third, and the fifth marks, we're going to be bending them right sides together. So the right side of the line should be touching. So here we go with the first one. I'm going to bend it over until I see that line I just drew and put my ruler against it to make sure that it's going to be straight. Okay. Once I get it there, I'm just going to push against it so it can have a crease. A little bit of heat to it, not much. So that's the first line, right sides together. Okay, now we're going to find our second mark. On the second mark, we want wrong sides touching each other. So you want the side that has the marks on it up for the second one. Find your line and press against it. Give yourself a crease. All right, once your crease is there, go ahead and put a little heat on it if you can. If not, just pin it, you'll be fine. All right, and while you're doing this, also make sure that you're looking at the sides and keep those lined up because if they start to shift, you see that, then your, um, your card slots are gonna be crooked. So just kind of keep an eye on that. All right, we're going to the third mark. We're in the third mark now. The third mark should be right sides touching each other. So we're gonna flip it back over. So the right side is up. We're going to find our mark. There it is. All right, I'm gonna push on it to get a crease. I'm gonna make sure that my sides are lined up straight they're not starting to veer off if they are go ahead and adjust it and now i'm going to put a little heat on it that's one fold two fold three four we're on the fourth fold now the fourth fold should be wrong sides touching so let's flip it over and continue the process until you finish your card slots all right 
If you want, you can add a top stitch along each of those folds. You don't have to, but I am going to because I just like the way it looks. I'm going to add a clip on each individual fold just to kind of keep things together for the moment. And now I am going to go and top stitch each one of these one at a time. Across there, across there, and across there. Okay, once that's done, we are going to draw a line down the middle. I'm gonna be using um, an erasable marker to mark a line straight down the middle. Only supposed to go from here, from the top of that top card slot down, but I marked all the way up, so I'm gonna just sew all the way down. It's whatever, no worries. Okay, once we get that done, we're going to grab, <clears throat> we're gonna grab our card slot sides and that's template O. You'll notice that one side is slightly more narrow than the other. You want your narrow, you want your narrow side towards the top and the wider piece towards the bottom. You'll also notice that one side is straight up and down and the other side has a little bit of a slant. You want the side that's straight to be touching the card slot that we just made. And then you're gonna lay those two pieces right side together and get them clipped. Okay, now we're gonna head over to our machine and we're going to sew these at 3 8 of an inch seam allowance. And then once we do that, we're gonna open it up and we want our seam allowance to be going towards the side. And then we're gonna top stitch on this side piece at 1 8 of an inch seam allowance. All right, let's get started on our um, coin pocket. So you're gonna grab your front top panel K. You should have already had this cut out. If you need to, go ahead and singe this if your material is unraveling or anything. I also went ahead and put edge coat on the inside of mine. So if you need to do that, go ahead. If not, let's keep going. All right, so grab your zipper and your little pocket piece and you want your short piece at the top. We are going to place our zipper right side up and we want it to be where it is opening to the right and closing to the left. Just kind of center it on there and we're gonna pin it and then head over to the machine and top stitch it at about a fourth of an inch seam allowance. While you're over there, if you want to add a top stitch on the ends just to make sure the zipper doesn't come off, you can go ahead and do that too. Okay, now we are going to just flip it over and then pull it up. So now the lining is still right side facing up and our zipper is also still right side facing up. Now we're gonna line up our sides and also line up the top and pin it together. And then we're gonna go over to the machine and we're going to do the same thing. We're gonna stitch that together at about an eighth of an inch seam allowance. Your corn pocket should now be where the little pocket piece is facing up. Your zipper should be opening to the right and closing to the left. I've gone ahead and put double-sided tape on the back of my uh, K piece. I'm gonna take the top piece, the back off, and I'm going to center it over this pocket, about right there, and then try to get my zipper as centered as possible. Okay, now we're gonna head over to the machine and we're going to do a top stitch only along the bottom. And we're gonna do that at about 1 8 of an inch seam allowance. Only on the bottom. For an awesome looking top stitch, leave your thread long so you can pull it to the back and tie it. All right, let's pull these through the back and get them knotted. We're gonna place some double-sided tape right here, and that's just going to help the pocket stay out of the way on our next step. All right. So now you're just going to go and push down. go now we're going to head over to the machine and we are going to top stitch up over and back down 
Okay, I pulled my thread through and tied it off. So now we're just gonna close up this pocket. So we are going to draw a little curve. She suggests doing this so that coins and stuff don't get caught in the corners. So just sketch out a curve. It doesn't have to be perfect. And go and sew down the sides so we can close this up. And when you close that up, I recommend you sewing it with the right side facing up and just pushing that out of the way just to make sure you don't get anything caught, okay? All right, let's work on template M. You should have four of M cut out and two of them should be mirrored. So you should be able to take two pieces that are right side facing up and one is going to be exactly like this and the other one is going to be mirrored, okay? So these pieces are both right side facing up and you'll notice that one edge is straight and the other edge has a little bit of a curve. See? So what you want to do is mark the top of these and you're going to mark also the side that's going to have the zipper. So what I'm going to do is just place a little dot so I'll know. If I see a dot, I know that this is the top. That's the top. And then I place a dot on the straight line so I'll know that's the zipper side. Okay. Now, our other two M pieces should be right side facing down and same thing. In the middle should be the straight edge and the outside should have a little bit of an angle. I'm going to put a dot so that I know that this is the top. And then I'm going to put a dot over here to know that this is the zipper. This is the side where the zipper is going to go, okay? So this one is right side facing up and these two are right side facing down and they match up, see? Perfect. Let's work with this piece first. All right. So we're gonna make sure these are right sides together, clip them, and then we're gonna go and sew it at 3 8 of an inch seam allowance. All right, let's trim these down. We're gonna turn it right side out and give it a little press. Now we're gonna do the same thing with our in back gusset piece. So we want two of them facing right side up and I went ahead and placed a mark along the top piece and the straight piece, okay? There's a straight piece and the other piece has a little bit of a curve, see? And then your other two pieces, you want these pieces to be wrong side facing up, and I'm going to mark at the top, or I did mark at the top, and along the straight edge. And then we're going to line these up so that they're right sides touching each other. There we go. And we're going to do just like last time. We're going to sew along the top, the diagonal, and the bottom at 3 8 of an inch seam allowance. Okay, once you get those sewn together, we're gonna do just like before, trim down your seam allowance, turn them right side out, and if you can press them, go ahead and get them pressed. We'll set these aside for now. Grab your two number five zippers. I think it says about seven and a half inches long. And we're gonna get these started. Um, go ahead and get your tabs put on. <clears throat> Okay, and we're going to trim these so that the ends are straight. Ish. <laughs> That's straight. Looks kind of straight, right? Okay, <clears throat> and then you are going to go down about three fourths of an inch. Ish, you know. Open your zipper. On your zipper, make sure that you're bending the side that the zipper is closing towards. So it should be opening, going down, and closing, going up. And on the edge that's going up, that's where you want to pinch it and get that fold going. Don't do the other side. <laughs> and where, you, where that mark is, you're just going to pinch it 
so that wrong sides are touching and bend it over to 90 degree angle. I am going to use a needle to put a few stitches in. If you would like, you can glue it. You can go over to your machine, whatever works for you. All right, we're gonna grab our main front pocket, which is our template, and go ahead and mark the center long way. Get those centers marked. And then we're gonna go ahead and grab all of our gusset pieces and mark the center of these as well. <laughs> so take all of your gusset pieces and go ahead and mark the centers of them. All right. Now we're going to take our front gusset piece, which is the smaller one, and then we're going to line up. Our lining is the right side facing pieces. up. The longer pieces should be on the side. We're going to take our gusset. And we want the longer piece at the top, the smaller piece on the bottom. With the center mark on the main panel piece. So okay guys, make sure that you pay attention. If you walk away and come back to grab this piece, together. make sure that the wider side of your gusset is still one. at the top. Okay, don't let it have rotated now we're go upside down to where the shorter piece is at the top because it will mess everything up. Ask me how I know. All right, take your two zippers and you're gonna line them up half of an inch down from the top. And All right, matching so this is the side of the zipper with the raw side. Let's go ahead and grab our main front pocket. I pin together the R piece. All right, and we're going to base both of those sides at Make one sure that you have it lined up correctly because one side is slightly different from the other. So just make sure that your piece is matched up with the template. And let's go ahead and let's work on the wrong side of that. Now, depending what you're using, Go ahead and get your mark ready for your hardware. I'm going to be doing a baby lock. So I'll be using this area right here. Go ahead and double check and make sure that that mark is centered. So go ahead and bend your um, panel in half and find the center point. Make sure everything's lined up perfectly. All right, so that means it needs to be this way. I'm gonna get my prongs as straight as I I'm can. I'm gonna go ahead and mark the top. I've lined my washer up. Lining it up with the mark that we made and trying to see as here, accurate as I can where my prongs would be. All right. Once I've got that figured out, I'm going to go ahead and make sure that it's facing tear. the top. Your lock is facing the right direction. Okay. Really tiny. You don't want to put that in upside down. That would suck. I'm also going right, to get this stabilizer like, to put You can place it. a little piece of interfacing over that to keep the hardware from rubbing against the inside of your material. Okay. A 
Let's get our completed main front pocket lining panel and our main front pocket exterior. And we're They're gonna be sewing gonna be these right at different seam up. allowances, okay? On the sides, Remember, we marked the we're gonna be sewing the them top, at one make fourth sure inch. Your top and the top, we're gonna be sewing it at three eighth of an inch, okay? So make sure you pay attention to that. Now we're gonna flip this so that they we're are right sides together. together. Flip together, and then we're gonna sew that. All right, let's trim these down. All right, here we go. Finger press Up it the side, and give it a roll if you'd like. And down. We're not doing anything to the bottom. All right, let's turn it inside out. Let's turn it right side out. Okay, now I want you to take these little gusset pieces and fold them in. And you should be able to pin the top one. The bottom one, not so much, but the top one you should. If you're able to, you can add a pin on the bottom making sure that you're only going through your lining pieces not your exterior fabric because we're about to top stitch around this entire main panel piece okay i'm going to start at the bottom because this is and the now we're going to that means top it's not going to show this so entire can, piece you'll be able to back stitch that thread isn't going to show and you do want to catch this little gusset piece in there that's why i had you guys pin it back so we're top stitching through this, catching that little gusset piece. Okay, I would like to make a let's quick take note our lining that while you are and that's catching gonna be H and go your ahead and side mark gusset the, piece, the top of them in that top stitch, you are not catching the top of it, okay? And you also mark the, the straight it, side, just the side. That's the zipper side. Now we're going to place these right side up. So these are right side facing up. And now we're going to grab the piece that we just did. So we'll start with the one on the right. So let's line up the bottom. And we're going to line it up. We're going to place line this up the zipper. on top lining up the bottom edge and the zipper edge there we go and let's clip it together We're going to base this at one eighth of an inch. And while we have that going on, I'm gonna go ahead and get the other side going as well. So this piece is facing right side up. We're gonna place this panel on top, matching up the bottom and the sides. I'm gonna flip it over to make sure the bottom is even. There we go. And just a reminder, the straight side of this piece should be lined up with the zipper, not the, not the side that has an angle. Okay, once we have that connected, we're gonna grab our front pocket side pieces, the exterior pieces. Remember those? <laughs> I kind of forgot about them. They're gonna be the H template as well, but it's the ones we cut in the exterior pieces. We're gonna grab those. The short piece should be towards the top, okay? And again, 